The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi everyone, this is Chris for Travel Week Learning Center. We have Carl Mueller and Samson David here, and they'll be speaking about the Yo Interline electronic ticketing, or ticket, sorry. Uh, before we start uh, the webinar, just a reminder that Samson will be answering any questions in real time. Also, the winners for the gift card will be announced at the end of the webinar. Carl? Yeah, thank you very much, Chris. Uh, thank you, uh, like, uh, on behalf of uh, YO, uh, no the uh, neutral e-ticket platform, we'd like to thank all of you for, for tuning in today. And this is going to be not only very informative, but uh, it's going to definitely help a lot of you with regards to a number of different uh, itinerary, GDS, and uh, reservation scenarios. So, bonjour à tous nos amis qui sont présents aujourd'hui. Merci de, de votre présence. Et Bien, on va décrire aujourd'hui euh, notre le produit de YO euh, billet euh, électronique. So, uh, let's start off here. Let me present uh, uh, the always efficient and ever so pleasant uh, Samson David, who will be, as previously mentioned, answering your questions in real time, typed uh, in the background. So, feel free to share any uh, questions or doubts or Anything you'd like clarified, and Samson will obviously get back to you on that. And we're going to take a closer look today at the neutral e-ticketing platform called the YO, APG YO Interline Electronic Ticket. So this is going to be of definite interest uh, to those of you that were perhaps in the corporate uh, travel management uh, segment. Uh, Air Operations Division, Ticketing Departments, uh, Niche Tour Operators, uh, and a host of other segments within the travel industry. So during the course of this uh, webinar, the objective of this webinar is to basically sum up how, this, how the uh, YOE ticket works. And many end up giving you a base, uh, a pretty straightforward description of, the, of its uh, application, how it operates, and obviously uh, how to use it. The majority of the information you'll see here has been uh, taken from the APG IDT web page, as you see on the bottom here on, on slide number one, www.apgiet.com. And each section has a wealth of information. So. A lot of the information you see should answer your immediate question. If there's anything additional that you might require, well, Samson can help you on the background, but also greater uh, detail is, is provided on our website. So with this in mind, let's, let's uh, take a closer look at APG YT and how this can definitely help you. Once again, the uh, why before we uh, get into the uh, following slides, the YOE ticket, neutral uh, e-ticket platform, can help a lot of you agents out there solve difficult uh, itinerary challenges, but also it can open doors to and increase uh, revenue streams by allowing you to ticket new carriers that perhaps you weren't aware you could use this uh, ticket platform on. So with this in mind, let's, let's uh, head off to slide number so what is APG IET? Well, in a nutshell, uh, with this uh, with this uh, ticket validation, Yankee OSC or YO, you can ticket uh, BSP non and non BSP airlines. And for instance, some uh, airlines that do not participate in BSP Canada, but they are participants. They have signed up to the YO ticket, so you can issue these uh, these uh, carriers. On that, uh, on using YO, uh, some other points with regards to this program is the YO ticket well, can allow you to combine or issue multi-segment tickets with with more than one carrier, combining them on the YO ticket. Although currently it says here 113 airlines can be ticketed using the YO ticket, the, that number has increased and. We're uh, constantly increasing the, uh, the amount of airlines that participate on the YO ticket. The airlines are spread out across the globe from different continents, and 
there are different scenarios where you can use the uh, YO ticket. The YO, obviously the uh, payment form can be uh, MasterCard, uh, Visa, UATP for those that have that, and the standard cash or check form pin you're uh, aware, uh, uh, familiar with. And APG, who uh, operates, administrates the YO ticket program, uh, we also provide uh, travel agent training and extra support as needed. Now, under what scenarios would you use usually uh, uh, this neutral ticket program? Just to let you know that uh, the YO ticket, all IATA agencies in Canada should have this already uh, good to go in your system as part of your basic BSP uh, ticket authority or ESIP package. So this is a tool that you already have access to, but not all agents are aware of it. So that's the objective of this, is to present the versatility of this ticket uh, program, this uh, ticket, uh, ticket uh, plate authority, and how you can use it to increase your sphere of activities. Why O? Well, when you look that up in BSP, it'll show Heli Air Monaco. Actually, Heli Air Monaco is a small uh, airline uh, based in Monaco, Heli Air Monaco, and they run flights between between uh, Monaco and Nice and some other regions close there. They're in all GDS systems. However, on the side, there is the neutral uh, e-ticket platform, which is based off of their um, of their uh, IATA registry. And uh, obviously, uh, Heli Air Monaco is part of the APG group, and the YO e-ticket product is also part of the APG Air Promotion Group. Uh, uh, system of, of products and services. Uh, Heli Air Monaco has its own uh, website, just in case you want to know a bit more about that for those that have any you know, high-end traffic or those who, who are uh, more niche or have specific type of travel itineraries that bring them to the uh, to the Nice, Marseille, or uh, Monaco regions. So there's the website there with regards to Heli Air Monaco. And it is obviously an IATA carrier also. So that's just uh, who YO is based off of. You have the airline flight product, but then you also have the e-ticket, neutral e-ticket platform, which has its own specific application. So we're going to take a closer look at that now. Just. Uh, seeing a bit of Heli Air Monaco's uh, service. So as you can see from your slide number five, uh, we have our carriers spread out across all continents that participate in the YO that have signed up that allow uh, agents to uh, use the uh, ticket uh, via YO. There are many scenarios where you could use or would use uh, or the YO ticket for BSP airlines that obviously are registered on YO. Well, then you can issue those airlines. Obviously, you let's just say you see an airline on a specific itinerary, you need a ticket. Okay, you can book them, you can you know, price them, but you can't ticket them because they're not in BSP Canada. Well, by checking your references on the uh, uh, on your command for ticket validation. If you see YO, well, then you can ticket it on YO. And that will obviously not only help you close the sale, but depending on which segment of the travel industry you're working with, with such as perhaps the uh, tour operators or FITs, it allows you to even do product development or destination uh, diversity. Let's just say your agency perhaps is lacking, doesn't have a specific plate for an airline or a ticketing authority. But let's just say that airline does uh, participate on the YO ticket. Well, that's another scenario uh, where you can use the YO ticket to help you not only close the sale, but also satisfy your client's need until, uh, uh, until such time as, let's just say, you do get that in the, uh, the, the missing uh, ESIP or the uh, ticketing authority for the airline in question. Some uh, agency segments, uh, sectors such as uh, corporate agencies or TMCs work almost exclusively only with credit card payments. Some airlines in Canada 
uh, only accept cash. Well, then there is also is the uh, possibility of using the YO ticket to issue such uh, airlines. You can use your uh, credit card ticket, uh, obviously price it ticketed on YO, and then you receive a credit card payment for that. So that's another scenario. And other areas such as perhaps if you need any sort of regional or smaller carriers in different geographic regions that uh, maybe not too many people are familiar with, these carriers don't participate in BSP Canada. Well, obviously that, uh, that's another door of opportunity uh, that allows you to really complete uh, the services you offer to your clients. So this is just visually looking across the globe as you can see the, the plethora, the vast variety of, of carriers, airlines that do participate in YO. And this number is increasing. Right now we're actually above 125 carriers. When this uh, slide program was, uh, webinar was prepared, the number is still at 113. But that has increased since. Some carriers here, obviously some you recognize, some you don't. Some are in BS, uh, BSP Canada, others are not. So, very recently, this was a, a recent list. This number, these numbers have increased since then. There have been some adjustments made to reflect that carriers such as. Uh, one uh, destination that's rather interesting, uh, I'll give you an example, Romania. Well, that's a destination that uh, is not only uh, sought out by the corporate uh, segment or TMCs to a lot of indus Canadian industrial uh, interests and activities there, mining, uh, other industrial uh, uh, energy segment, infrastructure, people working in that area. But the, there's VFR traffic, there's uh, niche tourism. Uh, quite interesting is their national carrier, Tarom, does not participate in BSP Canada at this time. However, they do participate in YO. So you can actually, I'm just uh, giving an example here, you know, doing your pricing, uh, you know, your booking, then your, your pricing, uh, validating a YO, and then you can issue a, a Tarom ticket. So it helps you as an agent or, as, or your organization become much more versatile in satisfying your clients' needs. So you can see here that there's a vast, vast uh, variety geographically uh, as to the carriers and possibilities that, uh, that become evident. And we'll see as we go down uh, the slides here in the webinar that the, the YO Neutral e-ticket platform allows you also to combine two or three carriers on one ticket. So we'll take a closer look at that. And additional information, Samson on the background can answer, or even on our uh, APG website, that's where you'll see actually printed uh, detail that's very straightforward and quite handy. So moving on. At this time, some non-BSP carriers in Canada uh, from different number of these carriers perhaps you might uh, right, uh, might recognize, others not, but uh, there's a great variety here of possibilities. So why use the YO neutral e-ticket? Well, it permits you thousands of airline ticketing combinations. Uh, ticketing can be done in any GBS, uh, YO ticket. Uh, obviously, uh, the product is present in Amadeo, Sabre, and Apollo. As previously mentioned, you can, you can ticket non-BSP airlines that uh, you might not be able, obviously under normal conditions, to, uh, to issue. Also, the YO ticket comes with a specific in, uh, insurance protection in case of airline insolvency, or any sort of uh, non-boarding, uh, non-boarding scenario, denied boarding, and those details actually are described in greater, uh, greater length on the website. 
So in addition to straightforward one carrier ticketing, uh, the interline ticketing benefits also can be extended to second party ticketing and third party ticketing. And we're going to take a closer look as we head off to the next slides how this works. Third party ticketing examples. And let's just say you have an itinerary which involves two carriers. And both these carriers are obviously signed up to, uh, to the YO program. For instance, Turkish Airlines and Atlas Global which are both Turkish carriers. So let's just say your first segment uh, going from Toronto to Istanbul. And then you have to connect and for whatever reason necessary, uh, your itinerary has been developed in such a way or configured in such a way that the connecting flight will be on Atlas Global. Uh, Istanbul to Erbil in Iraq. We've seen a number of uh, of government travel on that. So how on earth would you obviously uh, ticket that? Well, we'll see some more details as to the pricing ticketing on that, but this is giving you one scenario. Uh, we have another scenario, Air France and Georgian Airways. Now, I'm not, I'm not referring to the one here out in Brampton. No, this is out, out in Georgia, in the near, uh, near our Armenia, that region, uh, near the ex-Soviet you know, Soviet area. So you have Air France going from, let's just say, Vancouver, your first segment, uh, to Paris. And then from Paris to Tbilisi on Georgian Airways, they're coded Alpha 9. Now, obviously, uh, how can that be a priced and ticketed issue? Well, that's another scenario that we see. And the YO ticket uh, can even be used to combine three airlines. And these airlines, uh, the advantage if, if, if uh, all these airlines that participate on YO, even if, let's just say, Air France and Georgian Airlines, they don't have uh, a META or a VITA or uh, interline ticketing agreement, but when you, you can combine them on a Y ticket, YO ticket, which would allow that when you played it on YO. So let's just take a look at a scenario which involves three carriers with three different segments. You've got Air France, uh, Nikki from uh, Austria, and then Luxair. So using this example, Montreal to Paris on Air France, and Paris to Vienna on Nikki, or shall we say uh, Lauda Air Airlines. And then from uh, a third segment, maybe heading back uh, within 24 hours, but all on the same ticket, and you need to price and ticket it on, on uh, one document, and you've got Lux Air, that also can be done on one YO ticket. We're going to take, we're going to take a closer example of, of how this looks like in actual practice. So, uh, YO allows you to do a number of things which under normal circumstances uh, might not have seemed possible. So utilize second party ticketing to book airlines that do not participate in your BSP or do not offer the payment method you prefer it or uh, have, uh, have practical access to. For non, some of these uh, these non-BSP airlines, well, obviously uh, you can combine them on the same ticket and price them using the YO validator with a BSP carrier, and that actually opens a lot of doors with regards to itinerary possibilities for those that work with uh, with uh, tour operators uh, that need to develop a certain destination and need to need a certain carrier, and in order to complete. The, the product, uh, uh, the, the product structure. For airlines that don't have an interline agreement, well, obviously the uh, YO ticket is the solution to this. Uh, just reading off these basic points here, you can issue airline segments between carriers that do not have their own interline e-ticketing agreement. For instance, Air France does not have an interline IET agreement with these carriers that you see below, at least a dozen of them. 
However, all those airlines do participate on YO. So that allow, will allow you to price and ticket. Obviously, you would, uh, when, when you do the pricing on that, you would indicate YO as the uh, issuing plate. On a few occasions, not many carriers do this, but when you uh, ticket on YO, some carriers, depending on the fare basis, some have a CAP 25, CAP 35, or CAP 45 uh, differential. They're the rare, uh, just a few cases of that on specific fares with specific airlines, but that's something that the airline has stipulated. So. so Party ticketing example. Now, just look at this, uh, as you see in front of you here on the slide. We have Charles uh, de Gaulle to Hong Kong, then from Hong Kong, uh, heading off to, oh darn, uh, SYX. And then, as we see here, we've got a mix of three different uh, carriers uh, on, a, on this itinerary. Four flights, three different carriers, and different classes also. So this ticket shows how two airlines with no interline agreement can be issued with in combination using the APG, uh, the uh, YO e-ticket. As I mentioned, uh, on our website in greater detail, you go to y -A -A -P -G -I -E -T, we do have a, a tab which says support or help. You click on there. And then on the, then you will be offered ticketing instructions. And then depending on, there's Amadeo, Sabre, Worldspan, Apollo, uh, Abacus, uh, you name it. Um, and then greater detail is provided on that. But this allows you to, to price and ticket using the YO. But you would have to indicate YO as the uh, validating ticket. So as specifically mentioned, uh, YO has been amply distributed via BSP Canada. So most, if not all, IATA agencies in Canada have the YO e-ticket already hooked up to your GDS platform. So we have, we're present here at Amadeus, Apollo Saber. And for those, uh, this is more for the states, uh, world span, where that system also is prevalent. Now we have a, a quick reference chart, also known as GDS cheat sheets, which uh, we can send out by, either by email if you want it, or the, you can see it, uh, take a peek over at the apgiet.com uh, website. But they show you everything from uh, pricing, uh, itineraries, uh, ticketing, uh, you name it. Uh, pr I, practically all, uh, all imaginable questions regarding uh, how to use this uh, ticketing platform. However, if you want to take a screenshot of this slide, slide 15, detailed GDS ticketing commands. So let's just say, let's start off here with Amadeus. You want to see uh, which carrier, let's just say you see, have an itinerary. You want to see if uh, that can be ticketed on YO. Well, you have your command TGAD-YO, and let's just say you've built the uh, the PNR. Well, you need to price it. Obviously, you need to indicate YO as the validating uh, plate. And there's your command there, and how to issue on YO. Once again, I have your specific commands. If you wanted to take a screenshot of this, uh, feel free. Um, we will make this webinar available to those who want it, and we can send it by email afterwards. You know, just let uh, Samson know, and uh, and uh, you know, we'll get that off to you. Or so, let's just take a look at uh, getting back to the details. Right now, uh, everything indicates that Amadeus is used by close, if not uh, close to 50% of most IATA agencies in Canada. 
until recently it was Sabre. It looks like Amadeus has overtaken Sabre, and Apollo comes in third as uh, most popular uh, GDS. I give or take, obviously, a few percentage points. So how to verify price and issue of the YO uh, interline e-ticket. Oh, by the way, uh, the YO numerical indicator, uh, it's uh, IATA numerical number is 747. Uh, just like American Airlines might be 001, Air Canada 014, well, YO is 747. The first thing you want to do is verify participation. This carrier that you need to take it on, does it participate in YO? Well, this is one way to check it. And you'll see the interline cable to see the uh, YO partners, the airline partners. And followed by that, you have your code TPE or TE. We're just using Amadeus says, so you've went there, you've seen the airline. Now you want to see, uh, are there any sort of restrictions, anything I should be aware of? As I uh, previously mentioned a few minutes ago, some airlines might have uh, the orders. Some might put a CAP 35, CAP 25, or CAP 45 uh, differential. Uh, very few cases of that, but that's... You need to check the fare rule and restrictions, obviously indicating YO as the uh, validating uh, plate. Uh, this is uh, obviously for, for uh, published fares. So we want to see if, uh, if there are any restrictions. Well, here's what you'd get back as your answer. So SR, there is a sales restriction, and you'll receive the appropriate information. Ticket must be issued on the stock of YO. Some airlines that are not in BSP have actually defaulted in the sense that they allow ticketing to be automatically done on YO. In other cases, you have to indicate it yourself by changing the, uh, the validating plate in your GDS. Uh, situation here, uh, as you see beside the green, you can issue on YO 747 plate under these circumstances. And a, a third example, where your GDS uh, query or command specifically gives you the answer back saying ticket must be issued either on the plate or stock of we we're using here the example of KK we did Atlas Global. So once you figured out and uh, if the carrier can is is uh, Ticketable or not, uh, allowable for ticketing. Obviously, you need to uh, price it. So you have your pricing commands, and we're just using a specific uh, example here on the slide. And your pricing commands on the left-hand column here for Amadeus, Saber, and Apollo. After that, you need. So we had an earlier example using this itinerary. Uh, we had the combination of the airlines with Air France, uh, Hong Kong, and China Southern. Now, what if there's a code share flight? Obviously, one airline operates it, and the other airline wants to ticket it. So how to tell if flight combinations are eligible for YO Ticketing. Well, let's take this one here from uh, from the Azores to uh, Madeira Island in Portugal. Obviously, uh, beside the number one here, the SP, which would be uh, the local uh, SATA Azores Air, Air Azores, which is the regional branch, they're not in BSP Canada, but they participate in YO. Now, let's just say you want to ticket it on SATA. If you don't have the SATA plate, well, then obviously you want to make sure that do both these carriers participate in the YO agreement? If they do, yes, you can go ahead and ticket. Now, in a code share situation where only one of the carriers is actual, is if the uh, you want to ticket it on the carrier that is not 
uh, operated in a flight, well then obviously there's going to be a restriction. In order to take it, both airlines have to ha be in IET. In this example, uh, on the top one, yes. SATA Air Azores and SATA International S4, both are participants in the YO agreement, so this flight can be issued. Now, in this case here, on the second one, it says no. Uh, although TP or TAP does participate in the YO program, the operator of the flight, NI, which is Portugalia, which still maintains their uh, their operational IATA codes, they don't. So you wouldn't be able to issue it in this case. So it all depends uh, who's operating the flight. Now, why it wasn't too different? It actually uh, it isn't really much different at all compared to uh, your normal procedures with regards to uh, ticket exchanges and reissues. Basically, the same procedures. Uh, voluntary reissue. Uh, you apply the fair rule according to uh, uh, obviously uh, the GDS uh, information that you receive on the fair, and if penalties apply, then obviously you follow these same. Uh, same procedure, and obviously referencing that to the code XP, X-ray Papa. In the case of involuntary reissues, let's just say no matter which carrier you're using, a uh, BSP or non-BSP carrier, uh, general fare rules do not apply. If the operating carrier has protected the passenger, you can reissue the ticket on the same flight, or you can choose a new flight on the same date, with the same carrier, class, and route. And in the endorsement box, as usual, or as standard, you specify involuntary reroute. Getting refunds. Once again, not too much uh, complication here. Uh, refunds automatic done via your GDS, BSB uh, standard procedures. Voluntary refunds. If a passenger travel agent cancel, uh, has to cancel the itinerary, then general fare rules apply. Uh, the, uh, the operating carrier, uh, published fare in that case. Manual refunds, obviously, are those are all done via uh, BSP link. And for refunds, uh, as usual, in, in most, if not all cases, you usually uh, specify any sort of uh, circumstances involved. Was there a flight cancellation which made the rest of the uh, itinerary uh, not, not viable? A death of passenger, sickness, illness, uh, etc. Now, with regards to fare and baggage rules, if uh, regarding start off with fare, if YO is validating on only one carrier, then the fare rules from the validating carrier are determined for all ticketed segments. Now let's just say you've got two carriers involved. If more than one carrier is involved in the fare construction, then the most restrictive rule will apply, which is uh, pretty much standard. But that's a detail that uh, quite uh, often is forgotten, is that the most restrictive rule it always applies when regards to any sort of, uh, any sort of uh, rebooking, itinerary changes uh, that are voluntary, etc. Or even refunds. Baggage rules. For airlines with interline baggage agreements, the most restrictive baggage policy will apply for the whole itinerary, which is a standard uh, procedure. Now, if the participating carriers do not have an interline baggage agreement, then the passenger will have to pick up and recheck the luggage at the connecting airport. Uh, there are a few cases of that. Uh, Unfortunately, this uh, the YO ticket w was obviously designed to be, uh, first of all, to combine itineraries and ticketing and fares and facil facilitate that. Uh, with regards to baggage rules, obviously uh, that really comes down to what sort of agreement do the carriers in question have. So that usually I either can be checked uh, uh, directly with the carrier on their websites or through uh, 
or at, at the airport. But naturally, uh, these answers, uh, your client will want to know ahead of time. Now, the YO product also, we, on our website, we do offer a very, very good uh, tool. And we invite all of uh, those of you that are uh, attending you know, to go onto our website and look at it. Uh, some of you, if not most, are familiar with Innovata. And that allows you to, like you see, you need to put together a specific itinerary or not sure of who's operating the route or what the uh, uh, itinerary, uh, which carriers operate on the itinerary. You need uh, city codes, airport codes. Well, you can go onto the APGIT website. And then from there, we do have a link to the Innovata. Uh, tool, and then from there you can obviously uh, punch in the information you need, enter that, and that'll allow you to help develop itineraries. Obviously, with that information, you can go back to your GPS and, and use that and, and uh, check if the carrier is obviously pricing them and then ticketing them accordingly. What other support uh, does YO? the neutral e-ticket platform, provide to agents. Well, we have our uh, a very, very uh, informative uh, website, uh, www.apgiet.com, and we warmly invite all of you to take a few minutes to obviously to, uh, look into that website, see the information that's there from, uh, from the tools that we've made available to uh, which carriers uh, can be ticketed in Canada, uh, using this, uh, using the YO uh, e-ticket platform, and a list, a host of other information. You've got support information with regards to ticketing, pricing, uh, commands, and all, and, and all the major uh, GDS uh, systems. As mentioned, Innovata, this tool, you can search by city of departure, arrival. You can see flights on a, on a given date, a given route, and you can even obviously, uh, this is available on our website, but there's also an extra link just in case you want to dig further and go right on to Innovata's own site, which has, uh, has some extra uh, support items. So YO is a very strategic and versatile tool that has helped many agencies, uh, tour operators, uh, corporate agencies, VFR agencies, uh, different segments. Over the past year, we've had at least about uh, a 250 percent increase of agencies that have been using the YO. It's already in your uh, obviously your, your BSP GDS package. It's just a matter of getting used to it and using it. And it's, for all intents and purposes, not really that different from your, your standard uh, ESIP or plate or uh, ticketing procedures. So what, are, what commitments do we provide or does WIO provide to travel agency? Well, with regards to starting off flight cancellations. So we are, as previously mentioned, we, there is a specific uh, there's a specific uh, insurance uh, that is included with the ticket. Uh, we also offer it, uh, offer uh, agency support with regards to rebooking, etc. Refunds through your GDS. All this can be done uh, through the normal procedures you're already used used to, and APG is at your disposition in the in the uh, eventuality of any sort of complications or any sort of extra uh, assistance regarding manual refunds. In the case of insolvency of an airline, obviously uh, refunds are, are available and that can be processed through your GDS. And the insurance policy is also, which is included in the YO ticket at no extra cost. That is uh, described in more detail on the website. So your passenger is, uh, is protected and you also have a very simple but versatile tool at your uh, disposition. If you haven't tried this YO 
pick it. Yeah, obviously take a closer look at it, and I'm um, quite sure it uh, can definitely help you with all uh, with with, with uh, you know, the right uh, itinerary needs of your clients. So what makes uh, the YO ticket uh, strategic? Well, there are some big differences. You have our second party ticketing, uh, combining two carriers that don't have agreements. You can use the YO ticket uh, for carriers that might be cash only, but uh, but if you uh, plate that on YO well then, and ticket it on YO, you can use uh, credit cards, Visa, MasterCards, uh, UATP also. We also mentioned and described third-party ticketing. Uh, your bookings are protected by insurance, automatic refunds uh, in your GDS following normal procedures, and we also have uh, local and international uh, support desks. So you're not without uh, assistance if you need to be familiarized uh, better with the, with the program or any questions you might have regarding the YO neutral e-ticket. We have uh, uh, customer service teams that, uh, in, uh, in the U.S., in Canada, and also uh, YO. The YO ticket is actually based, it's headquartered in Paris, where APG is. That's where our world headquarters are, and that's where uh, YO is actually uh, has its heartbeat. And if you want to take a screenshot of this page also, just in case you need it, but the website also uh, will give you the same information. So our goal is to provide personal attention and to make it easy, as easy as possible for agents to ticket through our electronic ticket uh, platform. And when needed, assist you with any sort of questions or situations that might arise that involve refunds, cancellations, or, or ticketing doubts. And here in Canada, uh, our coordinator is our colleague out in Montreal. Her name is Fadila Botalbi. She is uh, looks at, she's the, the central contact point for the uh, the YO neutral ticketing program. But yeah, Samson, myself also, depending where you are in Canada, can also assist you on that. But uh, uh, Fadila coordinates uh, obviously yeah, uh, general uh, YO uh, queries and any sort of problems or things that may come up. So once again, we invite all of you, uh, no matter which segment you're you're involved in, be it leisure or corporate or any other type of uh, uh, travel uh, particularity, that you know, take a look at why you and see how it can help help you not only to increase your product offer by allowing you to ticket airlines that are not in VSP, open up new destinations, and give you new revenue streams, and allow you obviously to go beyond where you currently are with regards to any of your client needs. I would like to thank all of you for having uh, tuned in. And if there are any final questions, or you know, feel free to type into our, our fine friend, Samson. And uh, once again, we thank you all for your kind attention. Merci à tous pour de votre attention et de patienter avec moi uh, pendant cette présentation. So uh, with that, we pass the word over to Chris. Hey, Carl. Thank you so much again for this great webinar and thank you Samson for answering all the questions. Um, for in terms of the winners for the Visa card, I will email them at the end of the webinar. Um, and that's it for this day. Have a great day everybody. Thanks again Carl. Yeah, hello. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, actually the uh, the um the, the prize is, is within 24 hours. I should have mentioned that earlier. Uh, we'll, cause, uh, we, uh, once, once we get the names, uh, uh, within 24 hours, we'll, we'll, we'll be advising that. Yeah. We will. Okay. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Bye. Have a nice day, everybody. Thank you, everyone.